because before you know it, Arsene better come out. Okay, and I believe we're getting to the real match right here. The purple Joker skin versus the blue Tuna. Another one of the four swords, and of course a New York Classic at PS2. Would expect nothing less from here. And right there, we already saw an interesting interaction off the bat. Uh, um, Mouse Silver able to use, or Mouse Silver able to use their uh, gun, and it actually shot the bomb back at Toon Link. So you didn't even have to bother with shielding or anything. Just a uh, gun in general can be so good at stopping whatever projectile Toon Link's about to um, use. Yeah, and also on Spoopy's side, on Toon Link's side, we see um, Mouse Silver just racking up so much damage by just jumping into into um, Boomerang or just falling into a bunch of these bombs that Spoopy has out for him. Yeah, and right there, you got the close-up Boomerang with Spoopy that honestly might have been able to be a stock, but accidentally short hop through bomb instead of full hop. But still, it looks like Mouse Silver has not been able to get any momentum going. Right, and look at that. Honestly, I love how Spoopy is just forcing Mouse Silver to jump. Like, um, trying to do anything, just building off of that. Okay, and yeah, right there, like you were saying, um, Mouse Silver just jumping over and over, kind of empty. Um, and it resulted in just uh, Spoopy is not really biting into any of it, you know? Spoopy's very content with staying still and letting the Joker come to him. So because of that, um, Mouse Silver needs to change their aggression completely. Absolutely. Yeah. And look at that. Mouse Silver jumping, Spoopy already waiting for him with either an up tilt or an up air. And honestly, that's really how Mouse Silver is catching up so much damage against Spoopy right now. And look at that. Bomb fair already 57%, now 73 And this is just seems to be now total confidence going out from Spoopy. Spoopy was playing defensive the whole time. But I think they have enough of a read on where Mouse Silver is going to be to where they're confidently um, just using some aggression now. And Mouse Silver, who's been playing this whole game, to, um, kind of like taking the initiative, is now having to adjust to sudden aggression from Spoopy. Mm -hmm. And then just for a hot second, we got to see Mouse Silver throw in some moves to Spoopy, which honestly, Spoopy's um, percentage has been pretty consistent throughout the whole game until just so recently. Yeah, and the thing is right here is, well, look at that, running up with a Desperation F Smash. To get the kill as Mouse Silver right now, you really have to get a read on where Spoopy is. You can't really just like mash, like um, without Arsene at least, you can't really like mash Bear in mid stage or anything, it won't kill. So you need to either get like a fair one confirm or a read on Spoopy's movement to close out this stock. And Spoopy is like playing so stationary to where that's not really, he's not giving him that. See, he's just staying in the shield right there. Yeah, and honestly, right prior to this match, we were talking about how Spoopy, Toon Link in general, has to be careful with their projectiles. But I think we got that a little bit mixed up with Mouse Silver having to be careful of Toon Link's projectiles because it seems like everything that Spoopy has in, has in plan is um, coming into fruition. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like um, almost showing too much respect for the projectiles from Mouse Silver to where they're just getting overwhelmed by it. They're not really knowing when to contest it um, and pick their spots. So it's just, Spoopy's able to throw out more and more without ever really being contested. And up tilt, up it right there. A really good confirm from Toon Link into another one. Did Spoopy land? Or Silv land? Oh, oh, man. That's a classic right there. All the Link's recoveries are multi-hits, um, but it's kind of iffy if you need to tech or not. And right there, um, Toon Link keeps you in place the point where you only need to tech the last hit, and, but, um, and the last hit was canceled by grabbing that ledge, so a bit of a preemptive to air dodge right there. Mm -hmm. I feel like towards the end of um, their last stock, Mouse Silver slowly got a hang on going against Spoopy, and hopefully they can bring that sort of knowledge and um, just contesting and like predicting these projectiles right before um, they commit to a move. Yeah, exactly. Um, when they did get a hit, they were able to kind of extend it to like a nice like 70 or so percent like uh, string. But um, it was really a matter of gaining the confidence to get that hit. And right now, if we ever need a character that you need to be confident with, it is Captain Falcon. We're going to see a switch right here. Hopefully, this can ignite something within Syl. Yeah, definitely. I feel like he's getting a bit more comfortable, um, kind of understanding what he can and can't do with Joker and trying to apply those with his Captain Falcon. One right there, landing up air. 
been a really useful tool, these up air and up tilts from uh, Spoopy, and that's because of how much Silver lies on getting in with jumps. I would love to see something, I, honestly, that side B is a good idea, or maybe like a run-up grab, just something to mix up how they're approaching. Yeah, it could also just be Mouse Silver being incredibly unfamiliar with just how, oh. wow, oh. you know what? <laughs> Mouse Silver got something. He knows what he has yeah, to do. He, he heard you. He heard you, and he was like, "I'm a guy. Show my confidence." Yeah, this commentators don't know what you're talking about. Oh, easily contesting backwards, Spoopy pulling what he did in game one, and we're now back at zero. Yeah, and that knee's got to be so huge for Silv. Even though they did end up losing the stock immediately after, it's just finally like taking a lead, even briefly, can give the confidence you need to start knowing when to approach and such. But Spoopy's sticking with the same exact game plan and does not seem to be getting punished for it. A nice 40% lead. Yeah, and um, some things that uh, Mouse Silver um, still is very consistent about as a player is just, again, relying on jump and Spoopy's real use of um, up air and up tilt and really falling for, or like getting hit by these bombs and getting um, a move right off of it. There you oh. go. That's definitely showing some character knowledge right there, realizing they were going to fly up and towards them off that bomb throw. Getting that dash attack and the up air falling into that platform, and honestly, Mouse Silver had Spoopy kind of trapped at that moment. But just going for that down air to that, um, on that shield with bomb as security, not so good. Yeah, right here. Spooby's been at ledge, but finally gets out of it. Can actually opt to down throw. I don't know if I agree with that. Give Spoopy stage right back. Okay, and this right here is where Spoopy can really run away with it. Already getting that up tilt. It seems that on the ledge, uh, Ma uh, Sil does really like to opt for jump ins and such. So Spoopy's been scouting that out really well. But right here, oh, managing to get oh. back on stage. Oh. Third time. Oh, honestly, if he actually got that. And I did, um, just to make sure, did Spoopy um, spot dodge that? I believe so. Yeah. Definitely something that Spoopy was expecting, considering that this was the third time that Mouse Silver or Captain Falcon in general went up with that up the command grab. Yeah, right there. I think you were trying to fast fall to ledge, but held down too much. Actually, they might have just been too far away in the yeah. first place. Yeah. Yeah, a really tragic way to lose the stock, very similar to how he lost his last stock with Joker.